What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Empyreon Galactic Survival. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a while. Why is the back end of my ship look so... why is that... Th hold on. I gotta look at a thing. I gotta look at it. Something's weird right now and I can't tell what... oh, never mind, it's fine. I thought it was broken and it's not broke it. I was okay. Woo! I love it when I'm wrong about things being broken. That makes me so happy. In today's episode, we're gonna clear out the remaining resistance from the planet so that we have 100% say here. Nobody else can boss us around or tell us what to do or make us clean our room, Mom! And then once we're done there, we'll go up into space. I don't know if space is gonna happen in this episode or the next one. We still have, like, an entire spacecraft to build. And so while I work on that, I'll just probably have to fiddle with it on camera. We'll get that done. We'll go out into space. We'll build ourselves some super awesome guns because how can you have a spacecraft without guns? You might need a dogfight with somebody or cat fight with somebody. It doesn't really matter. You can pick either or. Why are my thrusters taking so damn long to recharge? That's weird. My booster is taking forever right now. And in these little Badlands areas where your hover just, like, ceases to start working, uh, exactly. Exactly my point. Oh, the booster won't even get us out of this one, so that's gonna be good. Hold on, we gotta wait for this to happen. The booster still has problems. There are still issues with the hover. Oh, we're being shot at, too, just to make the situation even worse. What we're being shot at by these little Badlands areas really, really, really do not like your hover vehicle. Your vehicle has a lot of trouble getting through them. I'd be surprised if we hadn't destroyed a couple of the blocks on the front end of our vehicle. Let me flip around real quick. See what's coming at me. Doesn't look like much. Ugh, vehicle's all dented up. That is deeply upsetting. Are they coming at me? I think they are. Hold on. That's one down. I don't deal with hostile creatures well. Like, I want them to go away right this second. It seems like there's a lot more of them than there used to be. There goes another one. I'll probably pick up all the meat and random fangs and whatnot for later. Because I do have, like, 30 sausages cooking inside my house. How many bullets do I have left? Enough? Good. That's my favorite amount of bullets to have. Enough. I don't need any specific number of bullets. I just want to know that I have enough of them. My jetpack is still on, isn't it? I was going to say I can't sprint right now. Let's go grab all of the extra vittles off these little guys because waste not, want not, and all that fun stuff. I don't want to make any Indians cry or anything like that. we got to make sure we use the whole corpse. And then we'll jump back into our vehicle. That would be the coolest way to get up inside a vehicle. You realize that, right? Being able to jetpack up into the air and then drop into your vehicle would be the most amazing thing ever. So let's find a few more of these weird little alien patrol points and see what we can do with those. My house is behind me, so it's either on this side or it's over here. And since we don't see it right here, I am inclined to believe that it's on the other side of the hill. I will also... I forgot to loot that robot back there. I knew it! See, in the last episode we killed a robot near the end and I forgot to loot it and I really could use the electronics and the bullets or whatever else. I think he was just using handgun rounds though. I think he just had like a little 50 cal cannon on him because I didn't feel like when he was shooting me... Who is constantly shooting me in this game? Oh man, we got a big drone coming in. I think he's close enough to plant rounds on. Yep, down he goes. We took a couple to the face, but you know what? I love our new suit, by the way. I don't know if you guys noticed, but they changed the suit around. It's a lot more fluffy now. It looks a little bit more huggable. I'm not going to lie. I might try to get people to hug me if I'm in this suit. Just be like, hey, look how fluffy my suit is. I'm like a human teddy bear. You know you want to hug me, and that's exactly what that drone was going to try. But I was like, nah, drone. I got bullets for you. Braka, 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 braka. Yay! Bullets that I can actually use. I love it when they drop bullets that I can actually use. I also like the fact that those started to drop. I don't know if I should hike this in over here. Uh, I'll probably go from the mountain over there, maybe. I don't remember what the range was on my rocket launcher, but it was like 250-something, rather. If I have to fight that thing in an open field, this is probably going to be a losing proposition for me. But, oh, he didn't dent my vehicle at all? Well, good. I love it when I don't have to do... Oh, there's another one right there, too. So there's two of them. Fighting with that one takes place basically in an open field. 
which is a bit rough. Well, shut down the vehicle, I guess. Come back for it. And then what is the range on each of my weapons here? This one has 180. That has 150. Ooh. We got to be close enough to see the whites of their eyes if we want this one to work. Mm. This is nerve-wracking. Last time we were able to do it because there was actually, like, cover. So can give me a range finder on this thing. Okay, so we're over a kilometer away. Yeah, this is a wide open field right here. I'm not sure where the best spot to fight with this thing is going to be from. But anywhere that gives me a little bit of cover would be great. So alien artifact right there. We got 150. Means we got to go in a little bit closer if we want this to happen, Captain. I'll probably try and stay up on the mountain. That way I can just like fall back if I need to. And not have to risk getting tore up. I think we just found a neodymium deposit too. That's pretty cool, just in case you needed yourself a little bit of extra neodymium. We're pretty close right now. I just want to get close enough to where I can use my digger to get me into a ditch. That's really all that I'm trying to do right now, is I'm trying to get down into a ditch. Yeah, give me my drill. And I want to dig a trench for myself. I might be able to accidentally hit one of them from here. That's 320. If I aim high, I might be able to make it happen. That drone is kind of close. And there are a lot of them. I'm going to make a fallback berm right here for myself. Reload the drill. Oh, dude, I have no drill. Ah! All right, I hate myself. I hate myself so much right now. Apparently, I have no drill reloads, so I can't even dig myself like a safe spot. How close are we? Pretty close. Close enough to where I'd be concerned that this is probably going to hurt like hell. Put one like right there, maybe? Oh, wow, that was way shallow. Okay, we're going to have to get way closer before that's going to work. Wait for him to get inside the range of my rifle. Alright, one down. I brought med kits with me, so worst case scenario, I suppose we fall back and do our best here. Oh, we got a big iron deposit, too. That other rocket was way shallow when I tried to fire it, so maybe like there. Still shallow, okay. Not something I'm inclined to worry about right though. Right now though, when bullets are peeing about my head, neck, and shoulders. There goes another one. Starting to wonder if they have the same range that I do. Did it just try to shoot me? It may have. It does not seem impossible or unlikely. Yeah, it's firing. Oh, Christ. Oh, that's what it is. That's actually way better than what I was hoping it was not, so... If he wants to shoot rockets at me, that's fine. Cool. We got like a big old grip of combat going on right now. There are a lot of robots around here that you don't really see. It's strange how they can stay so clandestine. I don't know. It weirds me out. Please don't bite me, random sn I don't want to be bitten right now, slug creature. I don't have any antidotes with me. If you bite me, I'm going to be upset with you. I'm just going to walk forward. And 45 degrees should be the maximum range so like that's a 45 degree angle right there maybe we'll see if it goes high oh it did it went high okay so we're actually inside the range now I have to tease this one out slingshot style ah uh, almost there
There it is. Okay, so we got one of them. You know, I don't even know if those cannons are a direct threat to me when I'm on foot. Oh, they are. That one turned. Okay, so it just looks like I've got them outranged, maybe. Oh, balls. I just got to juke them. Luckily, I like how they lead you. Like, that's pretty cool. But if you've got a little bit of range on them, you should be okay. See if that goes where I want it to. It did. Hooray! I love it when a plan comes together. Now, that one on top, I don't know what I'm going to do about him. If I could just ignore him, that would be the best way to do it. I don't even really know if machine guns will affect it. You would assume that, like, with an emplacement like this, it wouldn't matter. Oh, it does work. Okay, well, never mind then. Shows me, I suppose. I will take all of your ammunition because it is now mine, and I will put it inside my pack pack, and I shall cheer like a lion that you have been defeated. Grab some of that stuff. Looking good. And now we should have more than enough space to infiltrate on this one. I need to figure out some way to mark it so that I know that I've already looted this one. Like maybe blowing up that center knob right there or something. Jump up on a jetpack real quick. There we go. Another one bites the dust. We've only got a little bit of oxygen left, so we got to make this swift. If we go up in here, it looks like we got assault rifles and ores and other little things. I'm going to try and just grab the componentry first. That's what I'm most concerned about. I'm also going to eat some of this food real quick to clear out space. Yep. Extra yep. All right, that's looking good. I wish there was an oxygen. You know what? Get rid of the get rid of the meat right now. I don't even need it. Not even important. It's eating up way too much space. Same thing with the coffee beans. And then everything else should be pretty squared away, I think. Trying to get as much of this back home with me as I can. And then we'll break this down too while we're here. We don't have a ton of oxygen, but I gotta go back to base and get that taken care of as well. Come on. There we go. So that one's got a core. I'll probably destroy the core real fast just so nobody owns this. I wonder if that's the easier way to disable the guns. You just destroy... What is that? Oh, we got a shotgun! Cool. That saves me the trouble of having to build one, that's for sure. I don't think that I want another assault rifle unless it's one of the tier 2 ones. There is an upgraded assault rifle. There's an upgraded version of every gun in the game. And then there's, I think, a third one. There's like three tiers, and we're only on tier 1 right now, but... Grab ourselves a whole bunch of goodies while we're here. Got the grow lights, everything else is looking, eh, alien parts, I got plenty of those. And actually, I have plenty of promethium too, I'm not even worried about promethium. Plastics might be interesting and useful. I... Mm. None of these ores look intensely useful to me, but... Was that an iron ingot? Damn. It's the only thing that I can't stack up. I'll get rid of the alien plasma, there we go. And we'll wipe this thing out real quick. Well, real quick might be a subjective statement, but there you go. It's all taken care of. Now to get out of here, I might have to dig my way out. Hold on. Let me go this way. And then we got to go back to our vehicle, which was somewhere. There it is. It's on top of that hill. Got a little bit of a hike in front of us, but it's not that bad. I'm going to have to go back to base before we take on the next location anyways. And so what I'm going to do is, let me take a look at the map real quick. Looks like there's another one back over there. I'm trying to take all these out in this episode. I'm going to go back to base real fast, unload inventory, then we'll go back out and we'll try and get the other tower taken care of. Welcome on back, everybody. I still have not scavenged the ship over here. I don't know if it's worth it. It just seems like it would take a really, really long time. I wanted to pick its bones clean, but... There's a lot of stuff. I might go through and just pick out the electronics later on. I'm not really so sure. By the way, I fixed the little winglies on the side of our ship, so they should look a little bit nicer. Still not going to be able to mount lights on them very well, and so unfortunately our lighting situation is always going to be a little bit suspect on this vehicle. However, we're going in the opposite direction of the sun, aren't we? Ah, it sucks. I didn't want to do this fight in the middle of the night. I've got all the parts building right now for our spacecraft, so whereas we might not be able to do it in this episode, we might be able to do it in the next one. I think I need to go over these mountains right here on my right-hand side. If my map reading is as decent as I think it is, 
I need to go over the top of this. I'm not gonna like overvalue my mapping skills though. It is what I went to college for though. I learned to make maps in college. You wouldn't think that that's a very valuable skill, but it actually really, really is. Everybody needs maps made. Engineers need maps made. Physicists, geologists, essentially, I mean, even biologists, like everybody needs maps made. And geologists do that. So if you like, like cartography and just doing maps, Definitely go into, if you go into geography, that's a little different. Geography and geology have kind of like a friendly rivalry going on. You can call it like, eh, geography is kind of like geology with sociology mixed in, I guess. If that's really what you want to get into. Have I crossed these mountains yet? I'm a little bit worried about this. So I assume, ah, we got a craft over there. Hold on. I think the one on the left is the one that we need to go after, but this little guy over here is probably going to put a couple rounds on us before I can figure out what I want to do. I will more than likely hike in from here to that other location. Let me flip off the ship real fast. He's like, oh man, I thought we were friends. I'm like, nope, nobody's friends in traffic. I want to go and shoot this thing over here. I got to go out last night. to the, There was like a fundraiser at a local steakhouse, and my dad had tickets, and so he took me last night. It was pretty awesome. Never underestimate the value of a good, also free dinner. That's the best thing about parents is they always insist on paying. I mean, I try to argue with them. You should be like, no, let me pay. No, let me pay. But they never let you, ever. My grandma got legit. I took my grandma out to dinner a couple weeks ago. And she got legitimately angry at me because she wanted to pay the bill. And when it arrived, I just kind of like swooped it up and paid it. And she was actually pretty flustered with me. She was like, you're a sneaker. She says, yeah, I think she called me something else, too. I don't remember, though. My grandma does. Oh, man, my heart is beating. That wouldn't seem like a thing that you'd be upset about, but in the case of this game, it actually does bum me out. I'm going to use this real fast. I think he knows we're here. I think it's a drone now. Gonna shoot it in its robot mouth. I think it's a drone now. There we go. Actually, I think we may be way too far off. I might want to bring the vehicle up a little bit closer. The only reason that I don't is because in my experience, the turrets seem to see your vehicle sooner. For some reason, they fire on your vehicle when it's a lot further away than they fire on you on foot. And I'm not sure exactly how that all comes together. I also, we're doing this in a very, very dangerous way because I'm sort of wondering if I should just go back and get my car. I wish that stamina came back a little bit quicker in this game, or at least it came back while you were walking. I don't know. Waiting around for my pink bar to be all filled up. You guys hear that? There's a hell- Oh, he's right there. He's close. Jesus. Got him. Gotta get rid of him before anything else goes wrong. In general, they're not that big of a threat. Like, I used to worry about drones a little bit, and they're kind of inaccurate. I would actually say the developers might want to bring their accuracy up slightly. Not a lot. Like, maybe 5-10%, because you don't want it to be like Stalker Clear Sky, where they're sniping you from 900 miles away with headshots from a pistol. But, what I will say is that the drones seem to be a little bit ineffective right now, unless they're like right up on top of you point blank style. I'm gonna bring the vehicle closer, I think this is a mistake on my part. The, ve the, the little drones, they seem to be, I'm getting a drone by the way, I'm gonna go buy one of those hub sands. I really, really want one. My girlfriend asked what I wanted for my anniversary, and because we exchange gifts. And honestly, I come from a family where, some families really, really hate this, but my family has always done this, where we just give each other lists to make sure that people get like presents that they like. Because there's nothing worse than trying to figure it out. Like every now and again you go off the list because you see something, and based on the person's personality, like, I know that they would like this, even if it's not on their list or whatever, so I'm gonna get it. But usually, I give people a list to start with, and they give me a list to start with. That's just how my family does gift exchanges. They be like, where is your list when it's birthday time, or when it's, like, Christmas time, they'll be like, where is your list? Everybody exchange lists. In fact, we all have Amazon lists now. That's how we, that's how we do it. Because I've noticed that, like, that's the only place that I shop anymore. There's really no reason to go to any real brick-and-mortar store because, A, they're more expensive, B, I gotta drive to get there. The only reason that I would ever go to a brick-and-mortar store like GameStop now to get a video game is if I need it, like, right now and I want to play it tonight. But usually, I'm so backlogged anyways that I have no problem with just, like, waiting a week or two for it to get here. Put it on the cheapest. Like, for example, I wanted to get Samurai Warriors 4 because I'm a giant. I'm a Dynasty Warriors fan. I know that that's a weird thing to say, and most people are not fans of those games because they don't change much. But I don't know. I played them as a kid, Dynasty Warriors and Samurai Warriors, and I really, really like the games. Especially the Empires ones. Dynasty Warriors Empires is always a lot of fun because it adds a little bit of strategy in. And I enjoy playing them, and so I try to buy all the new iterations when they come out. I've liked them. Actually, 8 was pretty good too, but Samurai Warriors 4 just came out, and I really, really, really like Samurai Warriors. Because I'm partial, I guess, I'm partial to Middle-Aged Japan over Middle-Aged China. 
I suppose. It's not any real, like, bias or anything like that. It's just that I like the armor better. I kind of like the setting better with Feudal Japan. It is what it is. People like what they like. I'm a little bit closer right here. This actually seems like a really good spot to park it. Oh, never mind. It's already on me. You see what I mean? Like, they fire at the vehicle when the vehicle is a lot closer than they do when you're physically, like, running up on them. I can't see where shit right now either. Oh, Christ. Oh, it's because there's a creature right there. He's doing a really good job of leading me, too. The rocket launchers seem to do okay, but yeah, we can't take another rocket like that. That'll actually destroy the vehicle. And if it gets in capped this far from home, I'm going to be really, really upset. It will ruin my day quite well, actually. He's still firing at us. So yeah, something about the vehicles. I don't know if they track vehicles better than they track people, but they shoot at you from way deep when you're in a vehicle, whereas you can walk up within 100 yards of them before they start firing on foot. I'll probably park it back behind a mountain ridge, then I'm gonna need to repair whatever damage went into this thing too. Just to make sure. This time around when I built it, I made sure that all the parts were concealed so that at least it could take one or two big hits before anything else went wrong, but... Let's have a look at her, because I think we took a direct hit right there. Yeah, looks like we took a hit on our right-hand side. Pretty good hit, too. It's taking multiple repairs on each block. Normally, if you take, like, a light hit, it only takes you, like, one repair. Does the cockpit hurt at all? Okay, that's fine. Make sure the thrusters are good. They look all right. Okay, so we're going to have to go up on this one carefully, I guess. We don't really have much of an option, do we? I'm going to keep an eye out for anything else in this area that might be interested in killing me. But for now, I'd like to get a rangefinder on the side of this thing and just kind of figure out how far out it is. So we got 400 yards right there. I am almost positive that we want to approach it from a cardinal direction. You can see how the bottom is a little plus sign. That means you want to approach from the diagonals so that they can't shoot at you with two of the turrets at a time. If you approach from one of these flats right here, they'll be able to shoot three at a time. Two at a time, I think, is the best we can do using cover. Alien artifact. I really, really feel nervous about this. I hate running up on these things. thought that was one of those scorpion things for a minute. I got nervous. I got escorted. These ones on the ground. Eh. Need to go in this direction slightly. Yeah, it looks like you definitely want to approach these on foot. Approaching them. Taking fire from that drone over there. It's interesting. I think their range is better than mine because they're able to put rounds at me using the exact same ammunition. Way, way deeper. I think they buffed the assault rifle, too. I don't know. They patched three or four times since I last recorded. The assault rifle seems like it's hurting a little bit more. I'm not having to use, like, an entire clip to get the job done. We got two right there. He's coming in from that way. I may be able to sink a rocket in at 200 on those two. And then the backside. Oh, you got me. Bury me with my money. There we go. You can tell you if you're wondering how you're making contact because there's no graphics or animation put in yet for bullets impacting with robots. If you're trying to tell whether or not you've hit them, they pitch backwards when they take a round because they try to go into like a strafing evasive mode. And so just keep an eye out for that. That's how I tell anyways. They sort of roll backwards off their front axis. Let's see if I can go in. Ah, I think that's wide. Ah. Actually, if I correct it, I might be able to get that one in, like, right there. I think it just fired a little bit. I think I overcorrected. Oh, we got it. Hell yeah. Okay, so let's see if we can get that one over there now. I think I was at about that height, maybe. Ah, a little bit shallow, so a little bit higher. Like, right there. I think we got it. Ah, it might be to the right. Actually, I need to get closer, I think. That or I'm over-pitching it. I'm going over. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I'm running out of rockets, though, so we need to figure it out. We really, really need to sort this out soon. That one's probably going to be short, too. Oh, I got the one in the back. Jesus. Okay, so we'll go right there, then. I'm not having a good day when it comes to aiming. 
I am not having a good day. If we could just get rid of those, though, at the bottom, that's all that I really care about. And then the one at the top should be killable easy enough. There it is. All right, and so you, sir... I think it takes two rounds, or I'm sorry, it takes two volleys, and it should go down. I'm going to loot the remainder of this place, but this seems like a really, really good spot to break off the episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Imperion. I'm just having a blast. Like, it's rare. Usually, I have, like, a set of games that I like on the channel, but right now, I have, like, games that I really, really just am infatuated with. I'm having a very, very good time with them, and so... Honestly, I hope we keep this going for as long as possible. Next week, we got a shadow run coming up. It's gonna be very, very cool. I'm actually doing the official harebrained playthrough of that. Like, they contacted me and they were like, "Hey, do you want to play this on behalf of our company as like an endorsed playthrough?" And I was like, "Ugh, I was gonna play it anyway." So hell yeah, why not? That sounds absolutely awesome. Jordan Wiseman is like one of my heroes, and so to be approached in order to play one of his games, <laughs> you know, at his behest is super awesome. Like that's amazingly cool. So anyways, I will see you all in the next episode where I think we've wiped out a couple of towers now. I'll probably try and put the spaceship together in the next episode. Sound good to you? Sounds pretty... Wow, that blew up all over the place. Sounds good to me. I'll see y'all later. Hi to everybody.